Hello YouTube, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be going through uh, the first screen that the user will get displayed with uh, once o when opening this program. So we're going to go straight into the display method here. Um, or we're going to go straight into the main one and then just call the display method. Uh, just like that. So that the first thing that's going to happen when the program starts is it's going to open whatever's here in the display method. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to print out... Um, Please enter your name. Uh, spell it right. Please enter your name. So once they do that, we're going to want to put their name into the uh, name variable. So how we do that is name dot uh, name equals scan dot next dot next line. Okay, and then whatever they print in onto the screen is um, just change the scanner to static. Whatever they put the whatever they type in on screen will be put into the um, name variable then I just want to print out another line saying um, welcome and then plus their name plus um, to this gambling game okay um, go to a new line with a backslash n and then say please select one of the following numbers and then I want to display them with a um, uh, with a list basically of what's in what's in the menu variable what would help here is instead of saying um, instead of printing each thing out so printing out start game printing out help if you have a lot of um, if you have a lot of things in there so say I had another four options another eight options it would be quite a lot to keep printing it out if you know what I mean so all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a simple for loop and say integer i is equal to zero. Um, if i is less than menu uh, dot length, then we want i to increment. Okay. So all we're going to do is here is we're going to uh, print out menu and then in square brackets put the thing uh, put the letter i. What that's going to do is it's just going to uh, loop through this thing on the first time. It's going to print out start game. On the second time, it's going to print out help. Because remember, uh, Java starts counting from zero, not from one. So when we see one here, it's actually position zero. So yeah, it's going to print that out. Um, and once it does, we're going to want them to choose um, one of them. So let's just quickly make a uh, integer variable. So we're going to say int menu choice. Um, and then we're going to declare it, or well, let's declare it here. We say scan.nextint. Okay. Um, yeah, I forgot the brackets. Okay, so basically, um, we just created a local variable that's not going to be used anywhere else. And this is scan.nextint. So um, what the scan.nextint is, is basically whatever the num number they choose. So if they choose um, one for the start game, or two for help it will then go um, it will then do the following thing so um, whatever they do we're gonna want to uh, test it see if they've picked a number say they pick number three there is no third option there so we want to hit them with an error saying sorry uh, that's not a avail an available option and then print it out again or um, we would like or if they say start game we'd like to go and start the game or if they would like just to go to the help screen, they can go to the help screen. So all we're going to do is we're going to um, go start game uh, like that. So we're calling it, so it will go to the start game method. So now we're done with the display method. We can close that and just open up the start game method. And I will go through the start game method in the next tutorial. Thank you very much. See you again.